Let's turn to business news now with Giles Beckford, our business editor, who is beaming in from Wellington to tell us about a reasonable kind of deal, Giles, I think, uh, involving one of our tech companies. Yes, uh, good evening to you, John. It's a company called Gentrack. Now, it's one of the little coterie of technology software developing, development companies that came to the market around five or six years ago. Uh, but it's managed, uh, and it's quietly grown, and it's managed to buy a British company called Junifer. Now, these two companies have the sort of software that allow utilities or airports or power retailers to keep track of their customers, of their billing, uh, the, uh, the, the hardware and the, the servicing schedules, all those sorts of things, which is quite an important thing, but not really sexy. But they've done quite well. They're buying this company for $79 million New Zealand. Uh, they've been helped along the way by a specialist investment company called HG Capital. Now, this, month, the, this firm is being bought for, uh, this is Juniper, being bought for a, a mix of debt and shares. HG Capital will end up owning about 11% of Gentrack. It has eyes to the future and it has eyes for other acquisitions. Just a little sign that New Zealand's technology sector actually is booming quite nicely, yeah. that, that they do very well. Companies doing very well in the States as well. And it's not just zero. There are a lot of little companies just underneath that level. Um, and they're companies to be watched for. You know, they are the export earners of the future for this country if we play our cards right. Uh, Sunlay, it's described in my notes as a small dairy company, I'll tell you what. They don't want to remain small for long, do they, Giles? But they had a good first half result, did they? Uh, it, it was a reasonable result. It was around $10.6 million uh, for the six months. Uh, and it's about it's just a, a shade higher than yesterday. This is the company that actually makes the A2 milk in yeah. the formula which is the big the one that's going gangbusters in, in China and Australia. So they're doing very nicely. They're just, they are small. They only have around 200 cockies that are supplying them, but they're doing quite nicely. They've got eyes on expanding into the United States with a deal they have with a company called Munchkin. God forbid that you should have that as your brand, but never mind, Americans like that sort of thing. I thought the interesting thing from their commentary was, though, they have a forecast payout of $6.25 a kilo of milk solids for this season. You're saying that on the current prices that are being seen in the commodity markets, that's probably too high. Yeah. And remember, we've seen some of those dairy auction prices come back and that if it were to continue, in fact, they may be paying below $6 by the end of the season. So just a wee word of warning there for the rest of the dairy industry. Yeah, that is one, isn't it? Thank you, Giles. What happened on the markets today? Well, after having slagged them off yesterday and saying it was dead as a dodo, it's had its best session in the month. Share markets top 50 index up 1%, closing at 60, no, no, at 7133. The New Zealand dollar sitting at around 70 US cents and 91.6 Australian. Giles Bickford, our business editor. Thank you, Giles.